Avenger, Infinite War Review With the release of Avengers, Infinity War, the promise made by Nick Fury to build the world's strongest heroes ten years ago has finally come true. The film not only brought together Guardians of the Galaxy, Doctor Strange, Spider-Man, Black Panther and other superheroes, but also succeeded in shaping the tyrants Thanos. The latter has been able to rank with Loki and Killmonger among the most successful villains of the MCU. The joy, excitement, and excitement of the hero's build-up may not have been anticipated by Fury himself. In the movie of nearly three hours in duration, Marvel explained the meaning of the title of Infinite War to the audience. The superheroes we have fantasied over the past decade, from Tony Stark to Steve Rogers to Thor. The classic image of each hero was shaped more vividly in this epic war. The war across the galaxy under the joint deduction of dozens of heroes brought together a shocking symphony. No matter how many heroes are in the scene, no one will think of him or her as a supporting role. Even fans of War Machine have the opportunity to see their favorite hero again. The biggest attraction of the movie is the continuation of the inherent contradictions of the heroes. For example, Thor shows his fears and sorrows after Thor, Ragnarok, Tony Stark, played by Robert Downey Jr., continues to struggle whether it is the preservation of the status of a superhero, or is it as an ordinary person living with pepper pots? Steve Rogers played by Chris Evans is no longer Captain America, but he still insists on justice. Interestingly, Tony and Steve are so similar, but they always seem to be divided. However, for our comic fans, there are also many places in the movie that don't match the original. When Tony Stark meets Peter Parker, they exclaim, Wait! The two characters in the original haven't met at this time. The biggest feature of Infinite War is that it finally started to kill heroes in movies. The shadow of death will soon come in the film, and this is what the Marvel movies had been trying to avoid. With his ruthless hands, Tyrants conveyed a cruel truth to the fans, no one would be absolutely safe in this movie. As previously mentioned by the director, Avenger, Infinite War is more like a film with the dominance of dominance. This villain, which was played by Josh Brolin through motion capture technology, brought us the most exciting performance. Even though we cannot agree with the idea that he wants to eliminate half of the population of the universe, we can at least understand his point of view through the lens, and at the same time we can see the painful sacrifices he has made to achieve this goal. His appearance also brought an unprecedented crisis to the Avengers. Game Aura played by Zoe Saldana and Nebula played by Karen Gillan played a very important role in the film. The antagonism between Tyrants and Kamra may well highlight the theme of revenge in the title. Because the short-lived presentation of Karenra's childhood memory in the movie, we have seen the most distorted side hidden under the power of Tyrants. A terrible child abuse story gradually surfaced. Again, Infinite War is a movie that constantly brings surprises while satisfying all expectations of the audience. Whenever the audience is hooked on the shocking scenes and plots, the amazing turn can always introduce people into new thinking. The plot of the film has been pushed through at every level and eventually exceeded everyone's expectations. The way many heroes from the MCU collided with each other was also surprising. The Galactic Guards met the Avengers, Tony Stark and Doctor Strange, the two super-narcissistic heroes, quarreled, Bruce Banner during this period of time when he turned into a cosmic gladiator hulk, things that happen on Earth are shocking. Many places in the film have demonstrated the spirit of cooperation of the MCU. For example, when the Guardians of the Galaxy came on the scene, the movie The Rubber Band Man of the Spinners rang out. This song can be said to be the star of Chris Pratt and the squad's iconic BGM. It also reminds us of the Guardians of the Galaxy director James Good. Of course, this setting is attributed to Alan Silvestri's creativity on the score.
but it also proves that many superheroes such as Captain America's theme song can indeed evoke the audience's beautiful memories, and give the movie a big plus. Of course, an oversized cast will inevitably have some influence on the plot of Infinite War. In addition to fighting the main line of tyrants, the performances of the actors in the secondary dramas are pale. For example, Thor, played by Chris Hemsworth, has wasted a lot of time on the tasks entrusted by the Rockets and Groot. This scene also has its own climax, which is triggered by Thor's thunder. Although the entire film lasts 2 hours and 40 minutes, we can still feel the efforts made by the Russell brothers to balance the cast with a limited space. Even if the number of actors in Infinite War has already exploded, the movie is still boldly introducing some new characters, but the effect is not ideal. The main reason is that movies do not have enough time to show the characteristics of these characters. As we all know, there are a group of followers who are known in the comics as Black Order. Their fight with the heroes in the movie is undoubtedly very exciting, but from the point of view of the character itself, they lack the independent qualities as a villain. In contrast, Peter Dinklage's performance in Game of Thrones can make people's eyes shine. There will be many major events in the Infinite War. Even after they have walked out of the cinema, the audience will be immersed in the suspense left by the movie for a long time. The end of the movie's sadness without losing wisdom is more like Star Wars, Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back instead of The Matrix Reloaded. Although there is no end to a happy ending, it is also a good choice to use this as the final chapter of the Marvel Universe series. More importantly, Avengers 4 will be released next year and will cover the second part of Infinite War. So the suspense left by the movie for the audience will not be announced until next year.